Here we have the one of the two latest additions to my collection. It is a Daniker with a Hermley movement, an old Hermley movement. I got this at an antique mall for around $125. And it's in overall pretty good shape. Some of the veneer is missing. But when I first got it, it didn't, the chime side wouldn't wind up. Reason was because the spring was not hitting the dog, which makes the click, click, click when you wind the clock. So it wasn't winding at all. But this has a very, very old movement, or an older Hermley movement. But allow me to demonstrate. I apologize about any background noise. Beautiful clock. Here's the chime rods. There is no lowest note. The lowest note is actually the C sharp. This plays in a Westminster chime chord of F sharp, the C sharp being so in this case, but you'll kind of get to see up here. I don't know how well it'll turn up on camera. Actually, I got an idea. Hold on. Okay, so I got that here. If I advance a time, Have your look at the mechanism. Good swing on the pendulum, I'll give it that. Now I'm gonna set it to the correct time, which is about here. Actually, it might be in the middle now. All right. And there you have your little preview. But when I mean, oh, I guess to kind of clarify what I mean by old real quick, it still has plastic in the gears. Yeah. I'm going to be getting a new movement for this eventually. But uh, anyways, that is the Daneker or Daneker Westminster Chime Clock with a Hermley German movement. And I hope you enjoy the video.